Now let's talk about website conversion ads on Facebook. So basically you can track and optimize your Facebook ads for certain actions on your website. So think about email signups or product purchases. Here are some target audience examples that you can test. Number one is you can target your own fans and try to convert them into email leads. Number two is you can target non-fans with relevant interests or keywords inside Facebook's advertising platform. And you can also target fans of your competition. Just some examples to think about. Now, if you want to A-B test, you can test different images or call to actions. Now, here are some pro tips from me for website conversion ads. The number one is make sure you have set up and installed Facebook Pixel before you create website conversion ads. And also, you have set up conversion tracking, which could be with standard event or with custom conversions before you create the website conversion ads. And I actually have a separate video that covers both of these topics in this course. Now let's go to Facebook's Ads Manager and create a website conversion ad. I'm logged into my Facebook's Ads Manager and click on Create Ad. And then from your campaign objective, you want to select Increase Conversions on your website. This right here. Let's select that. And here's the definition. Send people to your website to take a specific action, like signing up for a newsletter, and then you can use a pixel to measure and track your conversions. So I'm going to use this blog post, which is on my website, isocialu.com, and it's about Facebook's organic reach. And if you notice, Facebook is giving me a drop down and I can choose a conversion event. And if I click here, here are different pixels that are active or available in my advertising account. And if you remember from my other video, I had set up a free Instagram page pixel, this right here. Now let's say if you did not have any pixel active here, you could also create a custom conversion pixel right here. So let's try to do that. And let me go to my website and tell you what kind of conversion tracking I want to create. So on my website, when people go to my blog, here is a lead magnet. Get free Instagram marketing hacks. When people enter their name and email, they're taken to a page which looks like this. So this is my success page or a page that people see after they have given me their email. isocialu.com backslash free Instagram. So I'll copy the URL of that page and then go back to Ads Manager. So I want to track or optimize for people who visit this page because that means I have generated an email lead. And then I'll select Category as a lead, hit Next, and this is where you can give it a name and also set a conversion value. Let's actually go back because I already have this conversion tracking set up. From my drop down, I'm going to select this free Instagram page. And now Facebook will show my ad to people who are more likely to convert for my email lead, the free Instagram growth hacking guide. Here's the campaign name. 
and then click on set audience and budget now let's start defining the target audience for this campaign I want to target people who live in the United States and also Canada and everybody who's above 21 both men and women and then in my detail targeting I want to target people who are interested in social media marketing Facebook marketing and also Instagram marketing there we go and actually Instagram marketing is not available so I'll select business marketing because that's also relevant and if you look on the right hand side my potential reach is gonna be 7.8 million people and I'm still in green according to Facebook which is good my daily budget for this ad is four dollars per day and I'm gonna set a start and end date my start date is gonna be tomorrow and it's gonna run till the end of this month and here is the estimated daily reach for Facebook and if I ran this ad on Instagram it's also here you can edit the ad set name if you want and then click on choose ad creative and now I have a couple of options here how do you want your ad to look I can create an ad with a single image or video or I can use multiple ads sorry multiple images in one ad this is what Facebook called carousel ads so let's actually do that for this campaign I'm gonna select the multiple images in one ad option let's scroll down and from this drop down I'm gonna select my business page which is I social you and if you notice here I have my Instagram account connected to this Facebook page which will allow me to also run this ad on Instagram look at this so Instagram as a placement is available here's your text field learn how to skyrocket your dropping Facebook engagement and organic reach that's good and now here are different images that you can add and right now since I have Instagram as a placement selected it's giving me an error message these images cannot be used for Instagram ads so let's actually use different images so select the first image and then click change you can upload an image from your computer or go to your image library I'm just gonna select this confirm and if you notice for each image you can select a different headline description and also the destination URL let's go to image 2 select image and by the way here are the recommended image specifications from Facebook and keep in mind your image may not have more than 20% text otherwise Facebook will reject the ad click on select image and again you can upload from your computer in this case I'm gonna use this image from my library there we go and again for this image also I could use another headline description and the destination URL this is the URL where people will go when they click on the ad. 
and that's my blog post isocialu.com Facebook organic reach let's click on image number three select image and I'm gonna select this image right here it's loading there we go and then from call to action there are several options you can pick any that's relevant to your ad for this campaign learn more makes sense so I'm gonna select that and now let's look at the ad preview this is how my ad is gonna look like on desktop newsfeed the multiple images look really cool right and then for mobile newsfeed this is how my image will look like the call to action text and then the images I have Instagram placement enabled for this campaign and this is how my ad will look like on Instagram and see it's already detected my Instagram account because I had my Instagram account connected to the Facebook page right here if it wasn't connected you will actually get an option here to connect your Instagram account and then I'm gonna remove the audience network and the right column on desktop And after you're happy with everything, the images, call to action, and campaign settings, just click on place order. And this will go to Facebook for the approval process. And let me actually show you something really quick. If I go to my Facebook's ads manager, here is the new campaign that I just scheduled it's supposed to start running tomorrow once this campaign starts running you will start seeing data right here your conversions cost per conversion here's the daily budget and also the schedule for this campaign so this is how you can use Facebook's ads manager to create website conversion ads and have Facebook Show your ad to people who are most likely to convert on your website 